हेलो फ्रेंड्स वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल बंजारा सेफ एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी माई ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो वेर आई एम गोइंग टू टेल माई फेलो सेफ एंड जूनियर सेफ वॉट टू स्टडी एंड हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द इंटरव्यू ऑफ द क्रूज शिप जॉब इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट द जॉब इन अब्रॉड स्पेशली यू कैन यूरोप यू शुड हैव गुड वेस्टर्न क्यूजिन नॉलेज एंड फॉर दैट आई विल सजेस्ट यू फर्स्ट गेट द जॉब इन नाइस फाइव स्टार होटल और try for the cruise ship job if you go on the cruise ship job you have a double benefit you will explore all the world and you will come through the different cuisine which will help you later to settle in the abroad so in my previous video i told you what you need to study you don't need to study all the books and everything so you just follow my tips and you just cover my topics i give you 100% guarantee then you can get through the any cruise line interview because I have cleared all the cruise line interview, but I work only for the Princess Cruises, and I am very grateful to my company. But now I am in the UK. I am trying to settle down here. Let's see what happens. But I want to help my junior chefs from India and also from other country. So, if you go for the interview, generally they don't take any trade test. So they ju judge you by the your knowledge. So. in this part i'm going to tell you about 10 famous dishes of chicken 10 famous dishes of fish then fish classification then seafood dishes and some other topics so if you cover my previous video and this video and you practice on that it's 100% sure that you will clear the interview for any cruise line whether it's normal cruise line or luxury cruise line so if you haven't watched my previous video Let's go and check that one. So now I'm going to tell you about ten famous chicken dish. I will just take their name and their origin country, and you make sure you find the recipe video on YouTube and try to practice that. I don't have time to make the cooking video because I have a work. After that, I try to make the video, and I don't have that kind of facility to make the cooking video. but in future i will sure i will do that so i can explain much better and i can also give you some special recipe so in 10 famous chicken dishes first one is chicken saltimbocca and it's from italy it's a dish made by chicken breast and sage leaf and parma ham then second one is chicken fricasse it's a french dish so it's from france and it's a stew then third one is chicken milanese uh, chicken milanese it's also italian it's a breaded chicken breast and it's very famous then fourth one is chicken florentine it's also french dish so whenever you will say florentine they will ask you what is the meaning of florentine so generally when the florentine term comes in the menu that means the dish has a spinach in any form it could be coating of the spinach or sauce with the spinach something like that so next the fifth one is chicken toscana it's also italian dish it's a tuscan province dish from italy and it's very famous you can also check the recipe then sixth one is chicken cacciatore it's also from italy so in the cruise ship you will see most of the dishes are from italy spain mexico and france generally chicken and the rabbit is cooked by this method and a lot of tomato is used for this recipe so after chicken cacciatore you have a kung pao chicken it's a chinese dish but it's very famous in usa because they have made their own version and this and it's very famous after kung pao you have a chicken gyro it's a greek dish is like a quesadilla of mexico but it has a different taste different feeling so after chicken gyro you have a chicken enchilada which is from mexico then you have a chicken pot pie which is from uk so these are 10 chicken dishes i will mention also on the screen so you note down and you practice their recipe and remember whatever i told you about the recipe so fish is very popular on cruise ship and you will see so many fish which is not possible to see generally in india in any hotel of course some of the five star hotel they are serving but what you will see and what you will explore on the cruise ship that will give you good confidence 
so let's discuss about the 10 famous fish dish so first one is fish and chips which is very famous and it's a british dish so generally there is so many kind of fish but the traditional is a cod fish so cod fish is traditionally used for the fish and chips so after fish and chips there is a dish salmon kulabiak so it's a dish of salmon and the rice and the spinach and mushroom and all this wrapped in the pop pastry actually this dish was from russia but later it was adopted by the france so next is fish meunier it's also from france and very famous dish this dish consists sauce of butter after that fish pie it's a uk dish again most of the pie from the uk and it's very famous in the uk next we have a fish cake or fish croquette this is also very famous on cruise ship so it's a generally round shape of fish patties uh, coated with the breadcrumb or the cylinder shape of fish patties coated with the breadcrumbs then it is deep fried so after fish cake or croquette we have a fish ceviche so this this is from peru and this is very famous dish it's a preparation of fresh raw fish with the lime juice chili and some place they use the onion and this so remember this is from peru so after fish ceviche there is a blackened fish so whenever you use this term blackened that means the fish has the coating of a lot of pepper and cajun spice then it is grilled you can grill any fish as a blackened fish but generally people like salmon as a blackened fish so after blackened fish there is a fish tacos which is from mexico they use a tortilla chips then they stuff the fish and other stuff which is very famous in mexico as well as in usa then we have a baked brangino which is a italian dish when you say brangino that means the dish has a sivas sivas is a very nice and little expensive fish it has very nice flavor and texture so the baked brangino in the Italy, they cook so many ways. What I see on the ship generally, they like to coat with the rock salt, then they bake it. And the last is the grab legs, which is made by the raw salmon. It is cured salmon. It takes 48 hours to cure cure it. And it's a Nordic dish. And it also very famous on cruise ship. They like it in the breakfast as well as in the sandwich also. So I told you about the 10 chicken dish, 10 fish dish. Now, now we talk about the classification of fish. So generally we have a two kind of fish. First one we call round fish. The example is salmon, mackerel, cod, red snapper and herring. Then another one we call flat fish. The example is pomfret, sole, turbot, halibut. So what happens the round fish? has the eyes both side of the body and the flat fish has the same side so if you see like this it's a flat fish then their eyes both eyes are on the top but it's when it's round fish one eye is this side another eye is this side and when you take out the center bone from the round fish you will get two fillet and when you take out the center bone from the flat fish you will get four fillet so you have to remember this maybe they can ask you about this that how many fillet you get from the round fish and how many fillet you get from the flat fish so this was the classification of fish now i'm going to tell you about 10 seafood dishes the so first one is frito misto so it's a breaded seafood which is deep fried and served with the tartar sauce it is from italy so after frito misto you have shrimp fradiobolo generally it is used as a pasta sauce it has a shrimp and tomato sauce this is also from italy after that you have a surf and turf so this this has a shrimp or lobster and one meat this is from usa and very famous dish surf and turf you must know about this dish because almost all the cruise ship they serve this dish and it will always have one seafood and one meat so after surf and turf we have a seafood bulawage so it's a, a stew like a stew mixed seafood stew it's from france so it's a french very famous dish 
and it's very hard to make proper seafood mulavej after that you have a lobster thermidor which is also from france very nice food very famous on cruise ship then next is your oyster rockefeller oyster is also very expensive and very famous dish this oyster rockefeller is generally served in their own cell so then you have a seafood chupino which is from again italy it's also like a stew but it has a tomato broth and it is served with pasta and garlic bread then after chupino you have a crayfish newbar it's a dish from louisiana so this is also very famous on cruise ship then after that you have a seafood pie which is from uk so you can go on youtube and you can find all the recipe of this dishes which i told you this will sure help you to get through the examination or interview of the cruise ship the ship so after the fish i'm going to tell you some interesting fact about the salmon which maybe they can ask you in the interview so interesting fact about the salmon is that salmon when they lay the eggs they travel thousands of kilometer from sea to the river to lay their eggs then when the eggs grow as a salmon they go back to the sea and they live in the sea then again if they have to lay the eggs they come back to the same river so till now even the scientists don't understand how can they can travel thousands of kilometer and they reach in the same place so this is an interesting fact that you need to know because maybe they can ask you in the interview so after salmon i'm going to tell you about the caviar you must know about the caviar so caviar is the egg of the fish but not any fish egg can become the caviar it's a particular fish name is sturgeon the uh, egg from that fish is cured as a caviar and it's very expensive dish especially beluga caviar is second most expensive dish or eating object in the kitchen or in the hotel industry so you must know about that so now we cover 10 chicken dish 10 fish dish 10 seafood dish and some interesting fact about the salmon and caviar now i'm going to talk about the 10 famous lamb dish i'm going to tell you is the irish lamb stew it's from ireland then we have a braised lamb sang which is also famous in uk and as well as in caribbean countries after that we have a lamb masaka it's a greek dish and very famous it's like a greek version of lasagna so masaka has a ground lamb egg plant and tomato so next lamb dish is shepherd's pie which is very famous in uk because it's from uk then we have a lamb kebab which is a arabic dish or turkish dish basically it's from arabic country then we have a lamb harissa it's a moroccan dish this is also very famous on cruise ship most of the cruise ship they have this dish in their menu then we have a lamb chitara actually it's a pasta sauce made by the lamb strips it's from italy so generally you need to remember the dish of the name and the origin country and if you know the recipe it's much better very useful for you to clear the exam but at least you need to remember the name of the dish how it is prepared and the country which is it was invented so next lamb dish is london mixed grill so by the name you can judge this is the dish from uk especially london so it has a different kind of the meat in the recipe so after london mixed grill you have a lamb navarin this dish is from france so it's a french dish then we have a rack of lamb so this also dish has the so many variation from so many country but it's very famous dish on the cruise ship so you should know how to cook the rack of lamb so friends generally i cover all 10 dishes of chicken fish seafood and the lamb please go through my videos and try to practice according to that just follow the instruction what i told you i am giving you guarantee that you will make through the interview i had cleared almost all cruise line interview but i chose to join the princess ship 
so this is all my 15 year experience i am sharing with you and i give you guarantee if you just study all these recipes and some fact which i told you about like a salmon and caviar for sure you will pass the interview i already helped three four cooks and some of my juniors to get the job in the uk they are already working with me and other place my motive is only to help you because i have seen the corona time how we struggle what was our, our situation but now it's our time we have a lot of vacancies coming in europe and uk so you start to prepare yourself now if you have if you are just passed out from the uh, institute try to get the experience in the five star hotel and as well as prepare for the cruise line job and if you have already like five six years seven years experience try to approach the nice agents i will leave my whatsapp number in the description you can contact me you can message me i will sure reply you so in future i will make sure i make the cooking videos also for my tutorials so i can explain better and if you are planning to apply for the cruise line this is the right time because there are so many working interview going on so if you are not sure which company you should apply please feel free to contact me again i'm telling you i will leave my whatsapp number in the description so for today only this see you in my next video thanks for watching and best of luck for your future bye bye take care